We serve a God of miraculous miracles. This statement couldn't be more true for Jennifer Stevens. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stevens and I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. We moved here in 2014 and that was the time uh, that I found cancer, um, breast cancer. And I just want to share with everyone that just speaking out the name of Jesus, there's power in that. He, I needed him because I didn't have the support um, around me coming from a, a different place and being on my own, but I knew Jesus was there with me and I loved that um, I could feel the prayers of, of, of my people back home and true prayer, prayer warriors lifting me up and I, I could literally feel that and it was a comfort and I, I cannot, um, it's, uh, what's the word, um, ex express enough how you should speak out um, the name of Jesus and the scriptures on healing. If you're going through anything like this, it, it works, prayer works, God is real and he is powerful. Don't ever give up and always push through. Well, today I get to interview Jennifer Stevens, one of our leaders at our Dream City Church Glendale campus. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Jennifer, now a while back, you shared with me your story of a miraculous healing mm -hmm. you had. Tell us a bit about that. Well, it was in 2014, so it was a few years back. Um, it was quite frightening. I was standing um, in my bathroom and I was... Uh, I had a three-year-old and I was still breastfeeding, of all things, mm. <laughs> which was unusual for me because I never thought I would do that for that longer period. Uh, it just turned out that way. And I was sort of spotted a lump that I'd never mm. seen before. And I'm like, they say when you breastfeed, you shouldn't get cancer. That's a yeah. known thing. And on top of that, no one had ever had cancer in my family because the doctor said, has anyone had cancer? No, breast cancer, no, no one. Wow. So first time breast cancer and also breastfeeding, still got the, the, the lump. What, was you, what were you thinking? What were you feeling when the doctor told you that? What was your immediate reaction? I was shocked. I was not expecting it, you know, because I believe in God, believe in miracles. And um, cancer happens to other people, not me, mm. because there's like no, nothing... No one in our family has it. Um, so i like, oh, okay, I've got cancer. At the time, my husband wasn't in the right, very good space to help. So I was on my own with mm. a three-year-old. And um, in another country, because I'm from Australia, yeah. so I'm here and um, with a three-year-old trying to figure out what do I do next? So yeah. doctor's appointments. In stuff. that moment, did you feel faith-filled or did you feel like you didn't have any faith in God? Uh, Right at that moment, it was like reality check, faith check, and I always have a great measure of faith in God. But I'd been through a rough patch since I'd, for the last uh, probably five years before that, maybe three years. And so I was battling through that, my faith, because mm -hmm. I'd been a Christian for, a, oh, I've been a Christian for 30 years, so a long time. Yeah. And then trying to deal with that and everything else that had been going on, I'm like, okay. So it took me slowly to get back to where my faith was and knowing God is real, he's awesome and he is a healer. And I, I know that I can count on him and all my hundreds of friends that will pray for me. So yeah. a lot of people praying for me. As soon as I found out, I said, pray, please, back home. Yeah. I had a, a strong amount of uh, Christian, faithful Good. Christian people back home. So Jennifer, how did the healing come? How did you pursue healing? Um, well, I, they kept telling me I didn't have it. Then I'd do a biopsy, yeah, you have it. Okay, yeah. now we're gonna make sure, just check your lymph nodes in case it's secondary spread there, like right. that. And I, all I'd heard was, oh, if it spread, spreads to your lymph nodes, you're a goner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, gee, I hope it hasn't gone there. Yeah. It's only a little lump, surely not. You know, I'm not knowing how cancer works. Right. And uh, they did a biopsy and the, the technicians there said, oh, no, that doesn't look cancer. She'll be fine. Again, said, no, it it's doesn't. It's such an emotional roller coaster. I know. And then all of a sudden, come, results come back. Oh, yes, it's cancerous too. And I'm like, oh, I thought you said it didn't look In like it was. In your lymph nodes? Uh, lymph nodes under here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 
No, you get lymph all over the place. I didn't they're know everywhere. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. You learn something new every day. So how did you get healing? How did that happen? I found a song, Darlene Jack, in the name of Jesus and declaring uh, the healing in that. It's the, through the power of Jesus. That really ministered to me. And she was going through the cancer at the same time. So it was really powerful and uh, declaring healing. And then on the other side, there's another song, uh, It Is Well With My Soul. Yeah. That was... Uh, like God was saying, is are you is it well? Is your soul well? You know, are you right with me? Mm. And um, just I was like, yeah, I am. I'm I'm good with you, God. And it was real. That was really healing. And I had people across Australia and here in America praying for me for healing. And uh, that's I believe what happened because by the time I got to the doctors, after she, I get there and she said to me. The, after the surgery, this, the lump had shrunk half the size when they pulled it out and wow. the, they checked the lymph nodes um, and they said it was cancerous. When they took them out in the surgery, they couldn't find any more cancer. It Praise was like God. that one lymph node. And it was like, she said to me, what did you do? What were you doing? And yeah. I said, praying yeah. and believing in God for a miracle. And she was, she was like, oh because she wasn't a Christian. Yeah. And my husband just started saying, oh yeah, she was stomping around the house, praising and That's worshiping beautiful. and couldn't believe it. And, and it was definitely God. And I love that you were able to minister yeah. to the doctor with that as yeah. well. So Jennifer, anybody who's watching right now mm. who has gotten a negative diagnosis, yeah. what would you tell them to do? Um, trust Jesus, easy to say, not so easy to do, but, but um, speaking out, important to speak out that name Jesus. Mm. and believe for the healing and also do your own little research too because there's there's lots of help out there naturally yeah some things I would have done differently mm. would have been not drastically do surgery like double mastectomy it was it was pretty wow uh, um, impactful and knowing that my lump had shrunk half the size and the lymph nodes were no, no, no more cancer, God was healing me anyhow. So yes. maybe if I hadn't have done that, maybe I would have got complete healing. Just more faith you and trust. You just don't know, yeah. So everyone's got to walk their own walk, but yeah. definitely um, declaring out loud the name of Jesus. He, he's a strong tower and he's a healer. Yes, and it's so important to speak positivity. Our yep. tongues have the power of life mm -hmm. and death. Mm -hmm. And I, it's a similar theme I've seen. We've had a couple people on our show who've been healed from cancer. Yeah. And I ask them, what do you do? And they say, I just declared. Yes. I said I'm healed. That's it. And they were healed. In the name of Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jennifer, yeah. for being here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Maybe you've received a negative medical diagnosis. Maybe you're struggling right now with what to do and how to move forward. Let us be a church family that wraps our arms around you and prays for you and believes for God's healing in your life. Dream City Church wants to be that place, that sanctuary for you. Go to dreamcitychurch.us to find out how you can get help and involved.